Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment for the next 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasus Bay. Hey, it's great to have you here. And we are looking in on the Minister's Stead Road Network construction that's going on here. Yeah, that's the time lapse that's going on in the background. And I don't usually start my episodes this way, but I thought I'd change things up a little bit just for this particular one and focus a little less on building out the uh, the road network and really kind of take you through a little bit more about our Consular District series. Now, as you recall, Minister Stead is part of our Consular District mini-series. And that mini-series is going to probably feature, I don't know, maybe four, maybe five episodes that's going to really flesh out the big consular district that we have in here. And it's just as a reminder, the consular district is kind of the seat of the government, if you will, here in the Pangasus Bay metropolitan area. All right. So last week we kicked off with the promenade and that was our big, beautiful government building that sits on the hill, plus our nice walking area out in front of it. And for those of you who missed it, here's an overview of what the consular district all entails. The first episode was the promenade and that featured some big walking trails, plazas, lots of community spaces for people to gather, whether that's to celebrate or protest or go to concerts in the park, or maybe just grab a sandwich and have a nice little picnic lunch. It's just a wonderful community space where people can just get together and hang out. Now, today's episode is going to be focusing on the Minister's Stead area, which is going to feature a mix of office, some commercial, maybe a little bit of light residential mixed in, and then a lovely high school campus. I want to really kind of ease that transition from the farm area that's you know to the east of it and then on into the urban area that's going to be to the west. So, Minister's Stead. Now, after today, we'll probably have ah, three or four more episodes in the Consular District, and that should feature this. The Island View Park area, and that's going to be a mix of medium and high density residential, really kind of in a way replicating what we did in the South Pass Isle neighborhood right across that canal. I'll probably even bring in some sort of a walking, you know, canal front road there as well, just to kind of give it that same look and feel, make that transition across that canal. And then... The next space we'll work on probably is the Old Northeast. And that's going to be a mix of medium and low density residential. And a really elegant shopping district kind of tucked in there as well. Should be really high upscale and lovely. We'll also tackle Vesper Beach, which will be a medium and low density residential area. That's going to have some offices that are kind of up against Capitol Hill there and maybe even a row of commercial shops that's going to be maybe reminiscent of Rodeo Drive. Just super high end, super exclusive, uh, but just one thin strip of commercial. And then there's probably even going to be another episode, a separate one called Channel View, where we're going to work on the waterfront area that looks across to the downtown. I had in my mind maybe a big circular park uh, with some sort of big features in that space, but maintaining great sight lines over into our downtown area with a nice beautiful look at the ships crossing in that channel. Okay, so that's an overview of the mini-series for the Consular District. Additionally, I wanted to show you something that I worked on off-camera, and that's our Planners Park Rail Station. Now, if you recall, as part of our Economy 2.0 troubleshooting series, we downgraded this rail station as part of that process. And we left a big gap in this space and it just was really unfinished. So I took care of that off camera. I didn't do anything elaborate, but I just simply added a plaza. I reworked the rail lines. I brought in some more walkability and some adjacent parking just to kind of finalize and complete the look. Now. Admittedly, I could probably tidy up the area to the right in a later episode, but we'll just see. We'll see how it plays out. Okay, so those are some of the overviews of what's going on in the Consular District miniseries. So why don't you guys just sit back and enjoy some of the road work build just for a little bit, and then we'll dive in to the meat of the episode.
Okay, with that road grid in place, now we can start the fun part. And let's uh, let's take a little tour of this space here. We've got a few distinct little spaces. Uh, I've got some ideas for what it is that I want to put in. And, and let's just kind of start down in this area. This is going to be low density residential down in this square here and this square here. Uh, I think I'll put in some row homes kind of up along this um, Lindbergh Street here. And then I want to put in some low density offices in here. Maybe some smaller ones there, and then some bigger ones in this space here. Uh, I want to work my way in, well, maybe this this will be a park area, a triangular shape. Always fun to do parks in there. And then maybe do some commercial down in here. And then that leaves me with this big, odd-shaped space here, and I've got an idea for this space. I think this one could be a lot of fun. Now, one of the things I want to point out is that we've got a demand in this city still for high school. You can see we've got 6,500 eligible and we've got 6,000 capacity. And I'd like to drop in a small high school in this space. I don't want to do one of those big, you know, huge campuses. And let's just take a look at the size of that. The small high school, yeah, I mean, that's probably a good, good size. I think I'd like to have it sitting in kind of, and maybe not snapping to that Kent Street, but up in this area somehow. Um, yeah, just kind of up in this space. So let's do this. Let's run a road. Let's run a road off of here. Uh, maybe somewhere here. In fact, let's come up one more. And I'm just going to run this straight out uh, to about there. And then I'll bring this up till it just about touches the um, this next road here. I don't want it to connect. Yeah, that's good. And then let's run this back down here and, and straight on through. Yeah, and then we've got a nice little kind of a nook back in here where we can drop in our high school. And let's take that small high school, put it right down in there. How does that look? Yeah, that kind of eats up that space nicely. And then uh, we can do some decorative stuff along this space here. And then now with the rest of this space down in here, I want to do something I haven't done yet. And that's going to be a baseball park. I haven't done a baseball stadium yet. And so this would be a lot of fun to do that. And I thought, let's grab these parking spaces in this canopy covered parking lot. I'm going to drop that in right into that corner there and then one right there. And I think what that'll do is kind of give the illusion of maybe bleachers or something like that. Yeah, it could be kind of fun. And then let's come out here with a, uh, we gotta start with a wall. You gotta put your outfield wall in and let's take this up to 3.75. Maybe I'll jump out to here and let's run this out. What do you think about 88 meters or so and then, then bend that back down into here. Is that going to be big enough? Yeah, it'll just fit in there. Look at that. Okay, cool. All right, so now that we've got that in place, let's put in our infield. we got to put the edge of our infield in. So from this little notch down here, we're going to go out one, two, three, four. Maybe four spaces there. I want to bring it out into the center of that one. And then come down so it's one, two, three, there. Yeah, that could be our infield there. This is kind of the space in here. And I have to paint in that infield with a surface. So let's just, uh, let's tackle that. Why don't you guys sit tight while I, while I kind of lay out the infield. Okay, so with the grass infield in place, now we can start working on our sand surfaces. And those will be the base paths and the pitcher's mound and so forth. So let's jump down into here. Uh, I want to snap to that one and just run right up along here. And then I'll probably, let's just see. I follow those nodes. I might have to turn off all my snaps. Just kind of get in here and freehand this. And this, that's how I did, that's how I did the first part of the pitcher's mound. It's not a perfect circle, which is unfortunate but uh it, you know it'll 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 do it'll do yeah i think that looks pretty good and now we can start in with our base paths let's jump right up along here yeah there we go now let's see if we can get the uh, the rest of the infield done up here. I'm going to come out like so and then just follow right along the edge of this pathway here. Is 
there. And now if I take out this sidewalk, well, it's not too bad, not too bad. I think I have to take this space in just a little bit. So let's just tidy that up. Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, it's not so bad. It's a little off center, but I think we can come back in the detailing time lapse and, and straighten that up. There we go. Now we got our first baseball field, baseball park here in Pangasus Bay. I like it. Okay, on to the next part. Let's come over into this space now here and see if we can add some more sports. And uh, I just want to grab a gravel. No, I'm just an alley road and kind of sneak off of here. Maybe just outside of the outfield wall. Yeah. And then we'll just drive down to, I don't know, maybe here. Uh, do I need to bring it down? Maybe I don't. Let's just take a look and see if uh, a tennis court will fit in there. Will a tennis court fit right up against the, the high school? It does. Ooh, it fits right there too. Yeah, let's do that. And then basketball court? Maybe two? Yeah, okay. Now I've got a little sports complex going on in here with the ball field, basketball courts, tennis courts. Nice. And then let's see, can I expand this high school? No, nah, it doesn't. Well, wait a minute now. I bet if I bump this road out a little bit, it would. Maybe come out to there and there. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now you've got a serious high school in here. This is really cool. This pool in the high school too. I want to go to this high school where they got a pool out front. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then, yeah, lots of, lots of sports and activities. The kiddos are going to be pretty happy. All right. Let's jump on over here now and tackle some low density residential. I think what I want to do is just kind of come in here with a uh, kind of like a quilt work or a hodgepodge, if you will, of different types. So I'm going to go European. I want to go two by four and then I'm going to come two by four with the European waterfront, North American, North American waterfront. I think I'll have to skip a space. Let's repeat the pattern. Yeah, and then I'll come down here and just kind of repeat, the, do the same thing again. I got North American waterfront, European. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then I left a little space there for sidewalks to come through. And uh, let's just jump across the street and do the same thing. Although I can go a little deeper, I think. Two by five, maybe. Let's see if that works. Ooh, it does. Okay, cool. So let's do that. Yeah, there you go. With those starting to fill in, I think what you'll find is that it's going to be such an odd uh, mix, if you will, of different types of homes in there. It'll really have a good suburban slash rural kind of look and feel in this space. All right, excellent. Let's jump over here and start working on some of these offices. What do you say? Let's see here. Mm, I think I'd like to try and smooth this out just a little bit. I'll level it off anyways. Yeah, that's going to be okay. And I'll just take in some small, low-density office buildings. Maybe a, I don't know, can I do a 4 by 2 by 4 I can, yeah. Although, I don't think I want a 2 by 4 in that spot. I think that would be bad. There you go, 2 by 2 is better. Do another one there. And then come in behind it with a 4 by 4 Or a pair of 2 by 4s That's that's fine. Oh, our office, office demand is... Uh, we don't have any office demand. <laughs> All right, so let's jump down here and do some commercial. Um, let's do this. I want to take this piece out and maybe make a little bit better space for this commercial. Maybe I'm straight out of here. Yeah, something like that. And then let's, let's come back in with a piece of this. Maybe to there. And then an alley that stems off of here. Doesn't quite connect. Uh, and then does the same in this direction. How far? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. You just come out so far. And then let's drop in a parking lot. Maybe a small one? Yeah. Right down in this space here. Um, yeah, right off of Daffodils. Daffodil Street? No. Let's put the parking lot on this side instead. Yeah, I think that would be better. Then if I come in and smooth this out, just make sure I've got my terrain touched up. Drop in some really big retail stores in here. Let's go North American. Yeah, North American low-density business. Boom, like that. 
And then let's see if I can do a six by six. No can do. All right, so let's just come back in and do a five by five instead. So we'll take this out and this out. Yeah, I guess five by five is probably the largest we can do. And then let's come back in with, oh, let's put another one right next to it. Maybe. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see here. Can we put something else down in this space down here? I can, I just have to reclaim those build squares. Let's turn this into a sidewalk. There we go. You gotta do a four by four in there. I think I probably could. Four by five. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and that's big. That's really nice in there. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be good. In fact, maybe I can get rid of this Glade Street now, or I can just run this right back up. Yeah, there we go. Trim that piece off. And now I've got a nice little commercial district right down here in this corner. Uh, maybe I'll put some smaller shops down in this space here. Uh, let's see. Maybe a mix North American European. Just some two buys. Here. Let's grab a sidewalk and just kind of curve our way through the middle of this too. So that we could create. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Stores on either side. So a little two by two there, a two by two there, two by two there. And then I'll come in with the North American style and go two by two, two by two, two by two, and two by two. There we go. So just got a couple little commercial shops in there. Um, yeah, so this nice little shopping district in here. All right, how are our offices starting to fill in? They're doing all right. And then let's jump down over to here and drop in those row homes we were talking about. Let's um, hmm. smooth this area out just a little bit. Yeah, I think I'd like to leave a little space there right off of that uh, main road. And let's grab European style medium density row. Let's run right up. Well, I don't want to go into that corner. I'm just going to go right up to, let's do it to there. And I think that'll be fine. I didn't want to get all the way into that corner. And I didn't want to get into this corner here either. Just leave a little buffer off of Kent Street here. Now let's take a look across the street. Can I drop in some more row homes there? I can. I can do a little block like so. Yeah, those will fill in nicely and should add some character to the neighborhood there. Ideally, what I'd like to see in here is like a big six by six. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. Just, you know, a couple of those in this space here would be ideal. Well, it may take a little while for those to fill in too, because I don't think we have much in the way of demand at the moment for office. That's okay though. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's really starting to starting to shape up. I might want to bring in some more commercial down into here. Let's do that. We still have demand for it. So let's bring this out into this space here. And then let's see here. 57 meters. Okay. Something like that. We'll bend this over into here. We'll see if we can drop in some of those small commercials again. Just do this little this little trick here. Yeah, let's drop in some small commercial in there. So we'll stagger it up again. North American here and here. And then come back in with the European. There we go. So just a good little shopping district in there. Okay, I like that. I like it. Now, we got a little space down in here too. I think I'd like to make that into a park. I don't know. What are you guys thinking? This could be this could be kind of a fun little walking park in here. So if I come in with some pathways, let's see here. Um, yeah, it's sharp triangular space. So let's make it, uh, well, before I do that, let's jump in here. Um, and I want to attach to this and just see if I can run this straight through here. I do not want to snap to a side of buildings. I'm just worried that this is going to break my grid. It didn't. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so let's just come in here and do the same. 
All right, nice. Okay, so now I've got some attach points for some nice curvy sidewalks here. So maybe something like this. Yeah, something like that. And we can drop in some, maybe a fountain and some benches and all sorts of good stuff like that. Oh, we've got that second office building filling in. Let's see if we can't do that a couple more in here. Now that we've got a little bit of office demand going back in. I want to bring in some two by fours. There you go. And that office demand just went down again. And that's fine. Um, yeah. So I think that's kind of the, the, the crux of what we're going to be doing here today. I'm going to drop in some more office down along here too. But I think I'm going to have to wait and play the cat and mouse game with our demand meter as that goes up and down. So I think... Really, this is probably a good time for us to jump in and do a beautification time lapse. Got a few things that I want to do. I want to you know, tidy up this baseball field. It's not bad, but I think it, it could be just a little bit better. Uh, add some walkways kind of coming through here and around the high school campus. Maybe add us a little beautification in there. Soften this up with some trees and foliage around our commercial district. Uh, maybe kind of take this tropical feel here and bring that in down here as well. So there's some consistency here. I'd like to see that we have uh, just kind of a theme running through here with some lush tropical vegetation. And uh, of course, we got to detail up this park. We got to make that look really, really nice. But boy, all in all, I, I do like the way that this is looking. All right. Well, let's jump into that time lapse. And why don't we reconnect here afterwards and we can recap our sculpture.
<laughs> all right, welcome back. And I give you the all new Minister's Stead. Yeah, that was our subject for today's build. And I love the way this one turned out. It's a nice little blend. I almost call it like a transition district that really goes from this farm area that's over here to the east and then makes its way on over to kind of the more, I don't know, urban or suburban kind of feel on this side here, right outside of the big government center here as well. So it's a good transition space and I really enjoyed this one. Now, this is not a big build. It's not a very large area, but it was a highly detailed area. And we'll get into the subject of some of those details as we dive in a little bit further. All right, now remember at the beginning, we connected Planners Park via this road over this little you know, main arterial right here, and then on into the farmstead over here. And then also we set ourselves up for future expansion over into Island View Park with this crossover road. All right, let's jump down in here and start with this little commercial district. We've got these big commercial shops that are right here on the corner. We've got 60 some, yeah, 60 some. And then we've got Cat in a Cabin. Now, I don't know what they sell there, but um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. And then over here, we've got Almost Meat, which I'm gonna guess is, maybe it's a vegetarian restaurant, I don't know. And then we've got another Cat in the Cabin here, overlooking this main arterial that kind of crosses right through here from left to right. Now we've got a little bit of parking in here. And then you make your way into some of these smaller boutique shops in here. I just little tiny footprints here and there. We got Ann's over here. We've got a gas station over there and just a you know nice little walking area through here, Lido Electronics and Pelomy Chemicals. And, and so you kind of make your way through this area and then ultimately you arrive into this office area. You've got Svafter, Svafter, yep. And then we've got a couple of these bigger office buildings now these are gonna sprout up into three and four story residences, kind of like what we did over on the promenade. And I'm waiting for those to upgrade, but I think once they do, they're gonna be really nice looking pieces here, kind of stemming up and, and having this more administrative look right by our big government building. Okay, now I just wanna take you right down along this road here and some more of these offices. And I got some parking right down here in the corner. As we come across that bridge, I just dropped in a nice little parking lot down in here. And I tried to keep that tropical theme going, you know, that we had over on the side of the uh, the other side of the road here with the government building. And I just worked those tropical lush plants and flowers and greenery right down along this main arterial road as well. Now, all throughout, I dotted in a lot of little details here. In fact, here's a little park. Remember we were talking about that little odd shaped triangular park here? This has got a ton of detail and I want to show you this. I've got this little rock garden that's got some some trees and plantings in here, but really the star of the show is this area over here. This is kind of our outdoor cafeteria, and we've got a whole variety of different food booths that are set up all throughout, and, and they've got a whole variety of different foods. We've got some vending machines in here, and then we also have this little fountain in here where you can just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy some, some lunch. But I tried to flank up each of these with these raised planters so it was really clear where the, you know, kind of the lines are. So you've got the limbs of bar and you've got again almost meat over here and what's this something and all and then common foods so you can see where to queue up here where to line up and then i've got plenty of seating out here uh for you know for your for your meals dropped in some parking here to support that as well and again just a little bit in the way of greenery kind of making your way and winding your way in through to the neighborhood now that neighborhood it's got that low density residential and i like the way that turned out as well as I mentioned, it's just a variety of different types. So I've got some uh, EU style uh, and EU style waterfront, and I've got some North American style and North American style waterfront. And so you can see it's this hodgepodge, if you will, of homes that would really be indicative of maybe an older neighborhood where, eh, you know, it wasn't like a single developer that came here, but just kind of random building styles coming there through there. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what those look like when they level up. Now we've got those row homes that sit right up above that major couplet road. And I wanna dive down in here closely. Again, you've got another rock garden out in front here. But then I thought this little area here, which I, I used sand as a surface, like uh, one of the sand textures as a surface, and thought this would be a nice little community gardens. Uh, so maybe the, the folks who live in this row home are doing just a little bit of community gardening down in here with some flowers, some flowers there, maybe some different kind of vegetables and, and maybe some cabbages and so forth. And just a, kind of a nice mix, if you will, of, of different gardening elements. And then as you cut across the street to this other set of row homes, they have this big backyard. And I thought big communal backyard with place sets. You got a swing set there, a teeter totter, 
There's little cabins in here and a little umbrella with some hanging chairs, a couple of hot tubs, one over here, and then one back over here with an umbrella there and a nice pergola. So it's a it's a nice little warm and inviting space, even though you've got the hustle and bustle of the uh, of the big couplet road here running behind it. It is a nice little oasis. Okay, let's continue down along here and we'll ultimately get to our top five design element. Yeah, and that is our big high school and ball field. <laughs> This one was great. I love the way that this turned out. You know, I, I've never, I haven't done a baseball field here in City Skylines too. And uh, this is a great high school campus with a really state-of-the-art ball field here. We were able to use some of those, those covered parking garages to kind of give the illusion, if you will, of dugouts that are kind of along this area here. Out front, I put this little sculpture in that kind of mimicked the uh, infield grass and then the, the four bases home plate for a second, third, and then the pitcher's mound here. And then down around the edges of it here, I, I use some of those planter boxes just to give it some definition, some trees and bushes and flowers. And then when you jumped out onto the field, that turned out really great. I used some planter boxes to mimic bases since we didn't really have any bases here. I've got a little pitcher's mound out in the center there. And then, of course, you had to put in the warning track, you know, along the outfield fence here. You got to let those outfielders know if they're about to crash into that wall. <laughs> but that's our baseball field there. And then our high school campus, I dropped in some, you know, some smaller vehicle parking in here. I think those are for motorcycles or scooters and so forth. Just a nice little patio texture out here. And then the high school with its extension out, out here. It's not, uh, it's not filling in just yet, but that's just fine. And then out in front, I want to show you, I put these, these big planter boxes as kind of bollards just to keep traffic from, you know, making its way careening into this, uh, this hard surface. And then just planters there, some sidewalks. I did another raised uh, kind of tropical bed and gardens up through here just to give it a little bit of separation. Maybe cut down on the noise a little bit from this busy road running through here right in front of our high school. And then of course we have our little sports complex in behind with our, looks like a pool here, some tennis courts and a couple basketball courts complete with their own little homeless encampment. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one as much as I enjoyed making it one. This one was a lot of fun because there were just so many different uh, design elements that came into play. And, and it was just a it was a blast for me to to get in here and do a lot of extra detailing work along the way. Now, just as a reminder, this channel is nothing without you, the, you, the wonderful viewers. And so if you saw something that you liked today, be sure to leave us a comment below. I really love to hear from you. And also the engagement helps us with the, uh, you know, with the YouTube algorithm to distribute our content to a wider audience, you know, which helps us grow and helps us keep improving. Now, a special shout out and a thank you to all of our members, both here and on the Patreon site. Your generosity is much appreciated. Now, also, while you're at it, make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings here in Pangasus Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. Okay, well, with that, I'm going to bid you guys and gals a fond farewell. And until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>